gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, today, something a little different. We have a customer who dropped off a vehicle at our location and uh, found out that it may be covered under warranty. So we're going to take it from our place to a dealership and hopefully the customer can get it taken care of under warranty. Uh, pretty simple, basic, just a rear tractor tow, but uh, we're gonna go through it anyway. There it is. Apparently somebody's towed it backwards before and failed to secure the uh, wind pairings. Anyway, here we go. up just a little bit using our single axle Peterbilt 337 with a Miller Industries Century 4024 20-ton towing and recovery unit. Very, very versatile unit. for a simple U-bolt grab on this. All right. Now before I lift this up, put any pressure on the front drive axle. Grab these handy dandy axle hanging chains. And suspend that axle. Anytime it's an air ride, suggested that you suspend the axle. Not by the S cam. Nope, 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 not by the S-cam. This upsets me that somebody has left these chain links all nasty and greasy. But now, my good clean gloves. Are greasy.
guess normally I would be training one of the other guys to be doing this. We talked recently in my videos that I'm going to take on more of a supervisory role. Right now we're extremely busy. And me, Tal, and everybody else, we're doing what we have to do to get stuff done, take care of our customers. So if that means I got to run a simple tow job like that, this is what I'll do. All right, good and tight. Axle's coming out without overextending the airbag. We're good there. Kenny with another one of those frack tanks. And our Western Star. Notice I'm not putting blocks under the tires here because I'm actually not getting under the truck while I'm putting the chains on. breakaway it's pulling into the throat of the hook not against that cheap little clasp Can he give us a big train horn toot? Not gonna do it. Okay. I've discussed this many, many, many times. Hopefully. You're developing muscle memory. Your brain is a muscle, so hopefully you're developing muscle memory. 
that we attach the uh, uh, straps for the steering wheel to the solid base of the seat, not anything that will move. Because you do not want the steering wheel turning whilst you're going down the road. Okay. Basically two more things to do here. Can anybody guess? Three more, actually. First would be finished putting this other breakaway chain on. Second would be towing light bar. Third would be final walk around. Again, chain so that if it should break away, pulls into the throat of the hook. Again, muscle memory. If you get in a habit, if I personally, if I get in a habit of doing things in a specific order, you have a tendency to remember it easier. You get into a sequence. And repeat that sequence for each toe works good for me everybody learns differently though around visual front axle hang chains are good breakaway chains are good safety chains are good u-bolt cups are seated properly to make sure light plug is in check the lights on the light bar left turn good Right 
turn good. So it should send signal back here to this. Yes, we have parking brakes. We are good. Parking brake lights, that is. Ah, stop lights. Brake lights, stop lights. I know what I meant. All right. Off to the dealer we go. something else that I will be doing an instructional video on here very shortly right here behind the seat we've installed these uh, Haas H-A-A-S uh, alert units they uh, oh shoot I'll have to go into greater detail whenever I do the do the video but we've got all of our uh, fleet outfitted with them now basically it's a transponder that uh, when we turn on uh, our emergency lights if like say we're on the side of the interstate we turn on our transponder and anybody that's using specific apps such as Waze W-A-Z-E uh, it sends out a signal as they approach letting them know that we are on scene roadside so and it tells them to slow down move over so if I hit aux one, you'll watch the lights. One will turn red. That tells you that it's transmitting that signal to anybody that uh, has systems that will receive this signal. Now I turned it off, so went back green into ready status. Anyway, that is a cool, cool safety feature that I have a lot of hope for. That should add a tremendous amount of safety to our guys give uh, the traveling public more advanced notice. I'm super excited about that, and uh, we started on we started installing those before Dad passed away, and uh, we finally got them all installed and operational. Tom Parbs at uh, Haas has been uh, just phenomenal to deal with on those. Well, his whole crew. But... All right. And away we go.
outside and see where they want me to put it. Service rider gave me one of two choices, either beside or behind this cab over international. So I chose behind. That give me room to drop this thing out. I won't have to start it and run it, and I won't be in anybody's way while I'm dropping it out. They just do everything in reverse order. Starting with the expensive light bar. Get it off there so we don't forget it. Come on, you. Get out of there. from the back I've had this question asked before why we do not hook up air or do not have to release the parking brakes most not all but most road tractors only have parking brakes on the drive axles and even then some of them only have parking brakes on one of the drive axles most not all but most steering axles only have service brakes most do not have parking brakes or emergency brakes there are several reasons for that which i won't go into right at the moment but for those who have asked that's why when we do a rear tow don't have to release the brakes Makes it easier for hook up and drop out. You don't have to pull the drive shaft. None of that stuff. I'll stretch.
let you unreach out far enough so that when I drop it out, I can bring it in and have room enough to fold it up without having to reposition the truck. They get to the one. Ah, there we go. It's basically got a chain grab hook welded inside the frame. Sometimes that grab hook likes to grab a hold and not let go. Other times, freeze up just like that. support chains here which we may have to dump the air ride to get them loose which is okay take our straps off of the steering wheel lock it and turn the keys into uh, a service rider And then move on to the next job. Turn the key on. Dump the air ride. pressure on the springs or the chains sorry I know what I meant it relieves the pressure on the air springs too but some people call them air springs some people call them air bags Different terminology, different parts of the world, different parts of the country even. Oh, you nasty, greasy things, you. Love those. All right, take the greasy gloves off. Inflate his air ride, key off. That side's locked, I have to lock this with the key. Main power disconnect off. Lock. Walk around, make sure we got everything. And 
and take the keys into the office. Good to go. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I was hanging out waiting to see. There was another gentleman here that uh, the dealership couldn't get to. Of course, it wasn't uh, the right type of vehicle that they work on. Uh, and he was going to possibly have me tow him to another dealership. But uh, the truck owner wants him to try to limp it to the dealer uh, at five miles an hour. And the closest dealer for that specific style of truck is at normal driving speeds about 45 minutes away. So uh, yeah, I would not, oh man, I feel sorry for that driver. I, I hope they decide to have him towed rather than make him drive five miles an hour on the interstate to try to get to the next next dealership uh, anyway all right i got my job done right now the other driver is safe in the parking lot on the phone with his uh owner maybe they'll decide to get him towed hopefully so i would not want to be him anyway enough with that we're done nobody injured at this point all's good i'm gonna head back to the shop or on to the next job whichever comes first as always thank you for watching and god bless